hi friends uh, today we are going to see the lookup transformation this is the repeat uh, uh, video of the ELA session I had given in uh, uh, other language now I am repeating in English so basically the, the, the lookup transformation helps you to pull the matching records information from source uh, and uh, the lookup table so in this case what I am doing is I am just uh, taking DEPT as the lookup table uh, and it is it it will be referring the the source table EMP table what the employee uh, and uh, who belongs to the department and that uh, the department information sits in the lookup table we are going to comment the result and pull the department information as well and loading into the target table that is the uh, actual purpose of uh, this discussion so this is going to be very simple and straightforward uh, here what I'm doing this is the mapping implementation basically. I am using Oracle database with score schema, the tables are sitting. So here it's going to be unconnected lookup basically. The discussion what we are going to have it here for the day is like unconnected lookup. So okay, when I say unconnected lookup, it is not connected between the source and target. Okay. And the ne next thing, the transformation, uh, I'm going to introduce the expression transformation as well. Why? Because uh, since it is unconnected, we have to uh, pull the lookup transformation uh, passing the argument and get the, the return value of the department name and pass into the target table finally along with the employee information. That is the ultimate idea. So let's see in the uh, SQL developer with a quick glance. This is the idea behind it. You see wh what I'm doing basically, I'm join joining between the EMP and DEPT table uh, with a department number natural key okay so addition to the employee information i'm also pulling the department name information from the department table so this is the close uh, uh, behavior same what we are going to so here uh, like lookup transformation so in this case dept is the lookup table we can consider and emp is the source okay so if you run this you will get to know 14 records result uh, at the end of the uh, right side you can see the final column from the department number uh, department table we are pulling the uh, the employee and its corresponding name with the natural key combination of department number he belongs to okay so that is what we are going to achieve it uh, because it's not straightforward we are trying to achieve with the lookup thing same in ETL so for that reason I'm going to create one target table T underscore EMPT DAPT okay so now the table got created uh, if you see the table will be initially empty now let's go back to the uh, IACS for creating a mapping now let's create a mapping here so it's going to be very simple okay let's make this okay the source will be EMP table from the Oracle So this is the table okay and and uh, the immediate thing what I'm going to do is lookup transformation so the lookup transformation as I explained before it's going to be unconnected lookup so for that reason immediately the general properties will set it to unconnected lookup and the incoming fields uh, will set it to in underscore number because this is unconnected we are giving the unconnected department number and the lookup object is going to be uh, DEPT table. Okay, so th this is it. Okay, and the lookup condition is going to be department number from the lookup, and this is the argument we are passing. And finally, the fi final property which field you are going to return from this unconnected lookup this is department name so that's what we saw right so this is one so now let's go back there quickly so this is done let's save it now the next thing we need to pull the expression transformation so in this expression transformation we are going to join it with the source we'll delete this one connect it now uh, uh, the so from the source qualifier we are getting all the columns from the source emp table uh, now let's add 
see all the columns from the source assets you will be getting in addition to that we are going to create a variable called v underscore name d name this is going to capture the department name so basically the idea behind it is we are going to call the um, look up what we defined it okay so when we okay so now we need to pass the field employee table dpt number okay this is we are going to pass it here the expression is valid now whatever we created the variable we have to assign it to the output variable now okay d name and string this is good so we'll simply assign this variable and validate it this is all good and the next thing is we have to point thing point it to target okay now the target is the target is t underscore emp underscore tapt table that is the table what we created for our discussion today okay this is the table so now this is empty okay and the final thing what we need to do is the mapping okay that's it so now we all this we uh, field accept this output uh, port or uh, we are getting from the source to expression transformation and the expression transformation look up information returning this one uh, output d name okay we will do the smart map the mapping is done okay this is done okay we are cool okay now let's arrange it okay okay let's queue okay now let's give a meaningful name okay so the mapping is ready we are done so uh, hope you got this flow now whatever we discussed now let's try to run it and see the result uh, the results are as expected so let's see the job is running now okay we should see 14 records uh, uh employee information addition to the department name it should pull from the dbt lookup table correct so now the job ran successfully if you see that source and target should see 14 records yeah we are perfect so now let us try to execute the query and confirm the same d underscore emp dapt table if you see here yes we got the result addition to the employee information from the lookup table we got the d name as well thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel